Hey guys, welcome back to Darth Shep Gaming. Welcome back to Serenity Valley SMP episode 40. I hope you guys enjoyed the last video. Uh, there were some mistakes in that video that happened. Stuff was going down that it just didn't work. But we did find the stronghold at the end. I did set up my tunnel to get to the stronghold. Did even set up a chest for our guys that are once we decide to go after the inner dragon, we have some stuff there. But today I wanted to work on one of our bigger projects and that is for our animal pins to be moved into their permanent locations where I can separate the sheep and make the, and have them be in their different colors, have my cows in one place, have my pigs, have them all in an area and make it kind of look better. So pretty much where you see that blank space we're gonna do some work today. Um, I have I have some materials, and we're gonna see how these colors work, leading up to where I want to go. And I forgot already how big this thing is gonna be. So give me one second, guys. I need to figure out what my width is right here. I'll be right back. All right, so we're back. And so what it is, it's going to be. So we're going to have this one here and then be one, two, three, four, five. And then what I'm going to do is this. And so we'll come over here. It will be one, two, three, four, five. And we're going to be boom. And then can I do, I want to see something. Yeah, kind of like that. And so, and then we'll come down. I'm using red in my design that I had, that I built in my creative world. I pretty much use white, but I was like, that kind of doesn't really fit our theme. But so we're going to see how this works out for us. Uh, well, for the path leading up. Obviously not for the whole building. The whole building is not going to be in this red. And I hope I have enough materials. I might... I, this is just roughing it. Okay. One too much. So right here. Because this is where I plan on... You know, we're going to start going up. So... Then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Did that do right? Let's see if that counted right. If I counted right. Nope. Off for a little bit. So yeah. Put that there just so that way I don't destroy my no mob areas because I do have this area well lit. The only time we get mobs right now is when we dig those pits over there because that is all they have. The only area that they can actually spawn in. So let's do that again. Oops. Let's just do it over here. And we're definitely going to have to make Trip for, oh. trip for more bricks, uh, stair steps. I knew I was going to have to, so I'm not really too upset or offset by it. Let's go to sleep. i tell you the truth. Yeah. So, and then we're going to bring these down. This is going to be like our walkway, and I might change up. Change this up. Okay. Or bring in some more colors besides the red. Might bring in some blacks. You know, we'll see. Maybe some cobblestones. Change it up. Maybe even some different reds. 
we'll have to see and i definitely will need to probably light this area up a little bit better i'll have to figure out what way i am going to do with that because i don't think i thought too much about that when designing this okay so boom All right, so one, two, three, four, five. So one, two, three, four, five. Good. Since we didn't have enough stairs, I'll go ahead on this side. Bring this all the way down. But guys, I'm going to bring you back when I finish this up and then we'll continue on to the next section. So I'll be back. Hey guys, we're back. I finished the base layer of the entryway. I am not, I'm probably gonna change it up some, put some texture. Uh, these are quartz stairs because we're gonna go up as well. But I am just gonna start with the base now. Um, the base of the building actually. At least the front part of it. So here we, and, you know, it's going to be another big one. The inspiration for this for me is like the Hanging Gardens of Babylon. But obviously it's not, I will have some like garden-esque type stuff around. But it's not going to be, you know, as like a, you know, it's not going to be exact of a you know of, of a thing i should say the inspiration is hanging but the hanging the bat the hanging gardens of babylon but it is definitely not going to be the exact Oops. you know it's going to be my interpretation with you know kind of like the star wars you know vibes to it so yeah we will see so this is pretty much oh Oh, I haven't shown you. So actually, we'll we'll take taper that in a minute. So we definitely need let's see sixty four five six seven eight nine ten. That's seventy, and then thirty more. It's twenty nine thirty. All right, so that gives us a hundred. Actually, I think we need a hundred and one, right? Yeah, there we go. So and then we're going to come this way and do 101 but yeah so it's going to be inspired by the you know the gardens of babylon plus you know my star wars yeah because i thought i think i was going to just do 50 but i think we're going to make that a whole lot bigger now <laughs> oops can I get out? Get me out. And yeah, we definitely have holes in the ground that I'll need to take care of as well. But keeping up with my Sith vibe, my, I do want to kind of take inspirations from other cultures as well. Try to get them into a design that I like, that I can work with since I am not a very talented person. Oh yeah, see? Oh, that was the halfway mark. That's why. Good. And so I'm going to go finish this up, guys, and I'll be back. Hey, guys, welcome back. Uh, just want to give you guys a quick update. Uh, we got some work done. I'm just, yeah. And I'm going to show you something. I decided to install a mod. I decided to install FreeCam. So here is the first layer. So I will definitely decorate the outside of these walls some more. I'm not done. The granite will be around the edge like you see here. And the reason why this is opened is because I am going to bring all the sheep and the cows and the pigs into here. I know it's pretty much more than I need for animals and livestock. But yeah, this is the beginning of the 
the you know the hanging gardens of Babylon, my version of it, the Sith gardens of Babylon, or the, the hanging gardens of the Sith, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, and I did get free cam because I do want to enjoy it so we can walk. What is really going to happen is we're going to walk up here. There's going to be a walkway. There's going to be another building. And then there's going to be stairs leading down. There's going to be another building and then maybe another depending on how big because this is a big area. So I'm probably getting at least three layers in it. And the second layer, I think I'm going to move the chicken farm that I have over there, automatic cooker, into here. Um, and maybe put some other things that I can think of in here. But yeah, and so... I definitely wanted to come and show you guys that I was getting some work done and we can move a couple of the cows and the pigs and stuff like that around and then I'm going to, um, uh, it's almost dark time. Again, I also will detail this, so I got to figure out, I need to work on figuring out how to detail things. That is my biggest issue. And this is detail work, making it more than just a mono color. Um, but I feel like I, d I have been making some progress and I plan on making more progress. And this thing took like all day, this first layer. So I am kind of tired. <laughs> I took a break pretty much for dinner and watched uh, Tokyo Vice. But I was like, you know what? I need to, you know just relax for a minute and then I wanted to finish it up and really what I want to do is pretty much grab a couple of sheep in each and so there's what like 16 okay there's only like two of you okay there's like 16 colors right so, eh, four, that's good. I'll take four for right now. So, yeah, there's like 16 colors in Minecraft, I think, right? So, I plan on having like, the, I plan on having like 16 different colors sheep. So, that way, all I need to do if I need wool is come over here and, oh, come on. See, this is what I hate about sheep go a little too fast um, I can come you know I need certain color wool why are we being stupid come then I'll come and grab some you know wool if I need to get some leather I got my leather and it's gonna you know you won't really notice it's not gonna be this big obnoxious farm out there they're gonna be hidden away and really Especially for the sheep, I don't think I will need a lot. Like four or five sheep will probably be enough for me. Um, we'll see. I say that now, right? We'll see. But this is how it's going to go, guys. So I am not going to bore you with this as well. I'm going to go ahead and break right here and start hauling all these sheep in. So I'll be back.
And there you have it, guys. That is all my sheep separated into 16 pins so that way we can have the 16 colors i'll go ahead and probably dye them and then we have our pigs and our cows i'm debating whether or not to have chickens because like i said up above me is going to be the chicken coop but yeah i think you know we are making good progress on here and i'll cut back and let you know and show you some more progress when I'm done all right guys did some more work on the hanging Babylons of the Sith Empire or whatever we're gonna call it and the exterior is pretty much done no not done not the, <laughs> the shell of the exterior is done I still have things I need to do make some details some changes some landscaping but for the most part, it's this is not the final product, but this is the framework for me to get it done kind of thing. So I even debated whether or not I needed to bring out these stairs some more and bring them like oh, down out to here. I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below. But yeah, and I tell you, I had to go dig for dirt so many times and I do want to try to do something for a frame. I'm thinking I might do some dark wood. I don't know. We'll see. And then these are just temporary. I was just spitballing stuff. But like I said, nothing much has changed. I need to figure out a good lighting solution to in here. Um, that's going to be another thing because, man, it <laughs> gets dark. But we have our sheep, but yeah, we have our different color sheep, which I was very surprised that I was able to pretty much do. Like I had all the materials for them. So we have 10 on this side. And if I thought about it, maybe I could have made this longer and then brought this in more. Um, that probably would have been the smart thing. But then we have the rest of the sheep, six sheep over here. Oh yeah. I need to do one thing. No mixing of sheeps allowed. I'm sorry. And then we get the white. We got the yellow. And then we have our pigs and we have our cows. And then what I've also thought about doing is making a big storage area. I It's not definitely going to be automated or any of that. And I probably won't use it that much, but... Like what I've done over here, it's still a big storage area, but there's the yellow, there's the red, pink. That can go in there. And then, you know, I need to figure out the flooring situation too in here as well. But then we have like three other floors. Again, need to figure out flooring and then like ladder wells and whatnot but i figured i've held you guys up a lot today i just wanted to bring this in bring i really wanted just to get this closed and we can do this too let me go here i just want to and that's you know i wanted to get the outside done because then you know we have this area up here as well we have and then the third floor here and then the second floor and then the basement kind of subfloor where all our livestock is going to go into but yeah I just really thought this would look good I'm I do want to I, I have some ideals for like the edging around here and here you know Actually, I should have brought this out more or this in more. Ah, things you think about when you do it. But like I said, still a lot of work to do. But I just wanted to bring you guys back and show you that we had the shell pretty much done. And <laughs> that's probably going to do it for this episode. I don't know how long this is going to be because I did a lot of off-camera work. This took me hours of off-camera work. 
like I said, I definitely did not have enough dirt. I'm lucky I did the deep slate, the redstone, the red brick. I had all that stuff, so that was easy enough to do. It was just everything else that I had an issue doing, you know, the dirt. Dirt was the main problem. I think I went three or four times, maybe five or six, really. And oh, because I had to look for dirt, I found red sandstone, or yeah, red sand and sandstone and uh, terracotta. Uh, so we will definitely be going over there and devastating. I thought, found like three biomes and they're relatively close. Like I swear to God, within like 200 blocks, there's a red sun, red desert over there. Over that way, a little bit longer, there's like two other biomes. So yeah, it's just crazy. But guys, I think that's all I got time for in this episode. Hopefully it's not some like six second or six minute episode. But uh, if you haven't done so already, please remember to like, share and subscribe. It does help my channel out greatly. And I do truly appreciate each and every one of you. But this is Darth Shep signing off.